Welcome back to Airbros Review SA, conjunctions with Pelagons.com. We've got the Kral Empire here with us today. This bullpup really features a little bit more of an upgraded system to the uh, puncher breaker, which is quite nice. The features it has is side cocking lever on the side here, correctly right over your finger by your trigger, so it is quite easier to get to your cocking lever. It doesn't have it here at the back anymore, which is quite nice and easy. One good thing about this, you can swap it out to the left hand side, so it's called ambidextrous. So pretty easy to do that, I'll put in a little short clip on how to do that. You just put it on this side which will be easier for the right handed shooters and you can just follow up your shots. So that means you don't have to let go of your trigger and then fire again. All right, more of that, let's check the length of this gun. Uh, this bullpup is about 73 centimeters. The weight is about 3.7 kilograms, which is not bad. They've shaved off a little bit of um, wood in the inside here, a couple of grams, I mean, but it makes a big difference and it looks quite stylish. It's got a nice uh, stock, um, even your grip here, it's fitting, it's very nice and for, uh, even with my big fingers, it fits quite nice and snug in between these cutaways. And then it's also got a little bit of checkering here so you don't slip. And then obviously they've put in a small little hole there where you can put a little swing silver stud in so you can attach a bipod on there. Um, if we look at the rear of this bullpup, you can adjust this chick peak forward or backwards. Uh, the nicest thing that we liked about this is you don't need adjustable scope mounts anymore. Because why? They have built this uh, scope Picatinny rail, they've built in a little nut and a bolt there so you can adjust your angles, your middle of angles. So if you're running out of clicks, you can quickly adjust this and you'll be back where you want to be. So, uh, it's got a double, single, single and double action trigger, uh, match state trigger, it's quite nice. You can change the, the blade to suit your finger angle, can we call it that way? And then if you see, while we're looking at the trigger here, it's got a nice little safety right here by your finger. The ergonomics has changed on this rifle very, very, very nicely, just to accommodate the shooter. Um, the gauge is in the front, the manometer, and you would also fill it up. It's got a little dust cap here at the bottom that you can turn. So this gun is actually the upgraded version of the Kroll Puncher Breaker in the bullpup, which is very, very nice. It looks quite stylish. It comes in a hard carry case uh, with two magazines, obviously a single shot loader, and that's it. All you need to do is plug and play. Just charge it up with air and go and shoot. So let's go see what's the accuracy on this gun on 50 meters, and let's have a fun day. And then after that, we're gonna go shoot a little bit of pigeons. So we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, today we're going to be shooting um, five shot groupings with uh, on 50 meters with the Kroll Arms Puncher Empire and we're going to be shooting with JSB 13.43 grains um, and let's check it out. Awesome. Great. Seems like a good shot. Let's go check them out. Considering the wind that blew around the pellets, this grouping is not too bad. Yeah. 
That was a pigeon at uh, about 20 meters away from us, which is not too bad. I'm going to try the other ones on the top there, which is about, let's say about 40 meters roundabout. Or let's try this one here at the top. Oh, just missed it. I actually pulled that one. So as you can see, this trigger is very light. Um, Got him there, that was about 50 meters because this gun is shot in at 50 meters where we done the review of the grouping, so it's not too bad. There we go, I've got uh, that one at 30 meters in the neck, let's wait for the next one. There we go, another one at 30 meters. Took it out in the kill shot zone. There's another one sitting there. This Kroll Empire, pretty nice to load. Quiet. Oh, that one just flew right past it. You see, the pigeons are still sitting on the top there. They didn't even hear the shot going off, so which is quite nice. Here we go, another one at 30 meters, down and up. I'm pretty impressed about this gun, or with this gun. Uh, like I said, side cocking lever, pretty easy to load. It is quiet, um, it is shooting quite slow with a, a RS Jumbo, while well, shooting about 890 feet per second, round about there. But, we can upgrade this gun to shoot the JSD 18 grain over 900 feet per second, so it's going to be good accuracy but you're going to lose a little bit of shot count but that's pretty cool so you get about 60 shots per fall here um, there's more sitting down let's go for it Oh, that was a perfect headshot. Um, let's take some more. Let's check them what they can do. Let's check. They're all landing down there. See there they are. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, okay. Got it. And action. Where are you uh, going to go? Put the ones on the top there, John, because you just aim straight on them. I got a strong headwind pushing in, but.
Let's first take care of business here.